Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, welcome back. If you are not in, welcome to another music reaction. So, I decided the other day, um, for inspiration and for ideas, to find a list. And to that end, I found the Rolling Stone magazine top 500 songs of all time list from 2021. The first thing I did from the list was Kanye West Stronger. The second thing from the list is going to be Pixies Where Is My Mind, which comes in at 493. Number 493 on the top 500 songs of all time. Kanye was number 500. This is 493. I'm not going to do the whole list because, you know, I've probably heard the majority of them, right? Like, I was considering it in... Number 499 is The Supremes' Baby Love, and I was considering it, but it's one of those that, although I know the song and I've heard it, I don't think I've ever listened to it, you know? I've never actually listened to it, it's always been like the background or something that's been on. But I was considering it, but we we'll might go back to it, we might swing back to it, what do you think? Supremes, I don't know. Um. So I was going to do a list of things, yes, yes, my movie. And I came across Pixies. And I think I've heard Pixies. I don't think I've heard them. So, um, yeah, why not? I mean, it's got to be something new. It's got to be something different. And, and that's sort of what I'm, what I'm going for, right? I think. Where Is My Mind is a song by American alternative rock band Pixies. It is the seventh track on the band's 1998 album, Surfer Rosa, one of the band's signature songs, and inspired a multitude of covers. Right. The song was written by front, frontman Black Francis, who attended the University of Massachusetts, Scuba Diving, Law Fresh I don't know why. Guitarist Joey Santiago composed the song's guitar line. He recalled with his part, This was actually the first thing I tried. A lazy arpeggio that instantly sounded strong. Fit, the first thing I actually tried to play on the guitar, or just for that song. The first idea I came up with for that song, or the first thing you played in the guitar. Because that is. Yeah. Fight Club. Apparently, it's in Fight Club. But I might know what it is. Right. Okay. So it's a, from 1988. This has got to be a live performance from 1988 while well, the song is still fresh, I guess. And uh, yeah, let's let's see what it's all about, shall we? Like a nightclub or something. I, I, uh, I don't know what to make of that. It's like, it, it sounds, it sounds really basic, right? Ex the, 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 the electric guitar line though, going through, that's, 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 yeah, it's, that's really, really nice, isn't it? The tone of that, just say. Um, and that's the first thing a guy ever wrote, or that's his first idea for this song. If you know, let me know. But yeah, it's, um, it sounds basic, right? It's n not technical. The guy's voice doesn't sound great, but everything together sounds amazing, right? It sounds like um, yeah, it's like a, it's like very hypnotic and endearing, right? It it, it kind of sucks you in. 
Ja. By the way, so um, so baseline, the baseline totally underpins the whole thing, right? The baseline, just I think I think it's the the baseline's got a hypnotic quality, right? Yeah, really, yeah, I really, really like a um, very, very, very nineties alternative, right? Or well, eighties, I guess. But you can see how West would fit right into. It right into the the early 90s stuff as well but yeah like i said it's, it's, it's i'm not sure if i've heard it before because it does sound familiar but again i've never listened to it before i don't think right it sounds familiar but yeah but then again i guess, I guess um when someone becomes familiar heaps of copy cuts pop up and even stuff you've never heard before can become familiar. But yeah, that sounds great. That sounds really, really good. Um, the guy's voice sounds perfect for what it was. An alternative thing. You can see the bit about um, swimming in the Caribbean. All the animals were hiding. Apart from a lot of fish. They come up to him speaking to him. Yeah. Um, and, you know, props to the girl bass player. With, uh, I can't even do it. All the way through. Ooh. Ooh. I would have just recorded that shit and played it. But good on her for doing it. Um yeah. Spot on. Spot on. So that was the Pixies with Where Is My Mind playing in a nightclub in 1988 to about 30 people. Yeah, it sounded it sounded really, really good. Like I said, it sounded it sounded probably better than it's How do I compliment somebody in without insulting them? It sounded better than all of its parts, right? It sounded better than all of its parts. Um the guy didn't have a great voice. But again, it fitted perfectly with what they were doing. The the hypnotic guitar sound in the girl with the... I'm not going to try it. I, ooh, you know what I'm speaking about. Then I'm not going to do it. Um, the guitar line is just, you know... Like, like I said, a lazy arpeggio. I think he's being self-deprecating and saying just a lazy arpeggio. Because it, it was slow, right? But... Not everything great has to be complex, right? It doesn't have to be complex, it just has to hit you. It just has to hit you. It's like um um Dave Gilmore on guitar. 
he, he doesn't play fast. He doesn't, doesn't he? I'm Scottish. He doesn't play fast and he doesn't play fast. He doesn't play fast, but he plays from his soul to your soul. You know? And it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to be great. And a good idea is worth... A good idea is priceless, right? And so I don't know what it was in that song. Great, like I said, I love the, I love the, um, I love the bass line. The guy's voice sounded perfect. The guitar, and it was just like one of those things where you can imagine in a dark room, taking whatever substances you want to take, closing your eyes, and letting it just like suck you down, right? Just letting it just, just, just envelop you. It's one of the things, it just like a, you hear it rather than listen to it. Again, right? I'm saying this a lot today. I don't know why. But it, it, it's more than listening to it. It just kind of, it goes in your head. It Everything just comes in your head with it. And yeah, so that was the Pixies. That was the Pixies. It's not the Pixies, is it? It's just Pixies. Pixies. That was Pixies or the Pixies, whatever the fuck. Where is my mind? Um... From 1988. Um, if there's any other Pixie stuff I should be checking out, let me know. I am going to look at my stuff. I am going to look at my stuff. But what are the Pixies? What are the songs? What should I be looking at with the Pixies? Do I just go with numbers on YouTube? Number of views? Or is there actually something I should be checking out? If you're a Pixies fan, let me know. That was great. That was... Yeah, I was I was worth the, I was worth a listen. I really was. So it's stronger by Kanye. In where is my mind? And I'm still in the four hundred and nineties. Right. I wonder what's coming up. Hope you join me for it. Let's see. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for all the guys on the Patreon. I appreciate you so much. And I'll catch you in the next one.